about how the current list is done, and now is the time to watch all the second seasons out of contractual obligation. Honestly, at this point, this has turned more from Oh neat, the continuations of the anime I kinda liked, to Oh neat, I can actually relax and don't think about the anime that much, especially given that the continuations this week are... weird, to put it mildly. So the first one is the second season of Arifureta, to which I can only say that no, they will make Cry anime is still more enjoyable to watch. It's still the same edgy teenage wish fulfillment whose target demographics are the same people who think dude from Postal and that dude from Hatred are inspirational models for every teenager out there. The only things that have changed is that his harem is getting increasingly more aggressive in their attempts to bone him and now their quest to kill God is more or less clear. What is it with Japanese and their desire to kill God? Almost every JRPG and fantasy anime I know of has the hero killing if not gods directly then people so close to them in power or importance they might as well be one. You know, atheists really need to learn a thing or two from the Japanese in this regard because honestly nobody has made Christian God and his religions to look like a bunch of basic bitches more than them. Oh, and also he kills the fuck that betrayed him in the first season and the girl necromancer was the big evil all along, surprising absolutely no one, especially given that they weren't really hiding that all that well either. Yep. So the second season of How a Realist Hero Rebuilt the Kingdom is actually better than the first one, though I'm not exactly sure why. Because they've started to get more into the character build up, or due to the focus on the political aspect of the show and all the inevitable controversies that arise from that. Remember kids, murder everything that even pretends to disagree with you, reinstate slavery but turn it into wage slavery, and if your country has a refugee crisis, tell them to assimilate or get the fuck out of your country because we are not going to feed people that aren't slavishly loyal to the state. Man, I'm starting to understand what exactly is it that Japanese like about this show. But politics aside, the second season really feels like it should have been included alongside the first one, as it gives a lot more answers to the previous questions, and indeed does make the show more... Tolerable to watch. Can't say better, though. The story is still ultimately all over the place, Soma desires are still all over the place, the girls that are supposed to be people from this feudal society are behaving like a bunch of Japanese teenagers that have never seen a sex set video in their lives, and don't even get me started on the whole medicine thing and how Soma just spontaneously found some race of expert medics that look like our world medics, which also reminds me that the whole Soma is a man so he doesn't understand how it's like to be a woman and get a C-section was weird, like I thought it'll go into how the dragon girl lost her mother, but no, not really, and that kinda sums up my thoughts on the show in general, though I will readily admit that the only reason I'm being relaxed towards this show is because I only add second seasons to the top five if they were either really amazing or incredibly shit, and these two were neither, and just saying, well, if you like the first season or like this one as well, it feels like a cop-out, it's like liking Rosolnik and not being able to run very fast. <laughs> <laughs>